today, for the first time ever, I'd like to let Macintosh speak for itself. Hello, I am Macintosh. The truth is great to get out of that bag. We think a lot of them are going to get into the home, but we, we like to say they're going to get there through the garage door. People are going to bring them home over the weekend to work on something. Uh, Sunday morning, they're not going to be able to get their kids away from them, and maybe someday they'll even buy a second one to leave at home. The strangest thing about Apple is it hasn't had a good consumer product. Here's one of the best consumer brands in the world, and they haven't had a compelling product under $2,000. And the one we introduced today, the iMac, is incredibly sweet. So I think it's going to make a big difference. Well, this $1,299 product is faster than the fastest Pentium 2 you can buy. You can go out and buy a 400 megahertz Pentium 2, and this thing smokes it. And so it's amazing. And, and, and the, the market's never had a consumer product this powerful and, and this cool looking. What is iPod? iPod is an MP3 music player, has CD quality music, and it plays all of the popular open formats of digital music. But the biggest thing about iPod is it holds a thousand songs. Now this is a quantum leap because it's your, for most people, it's their entire music library. This is huge. The coolest thing about iPod is that whole, your entire music library fits in your pocket. I've got a pocket right here. Now this pocket's been the one that your iPod's gone in, traditionally. The iPod and the iPod mini fit great in there. You ever wonder what this pocket's for? <laughs> I've always wondered that. Well, now we know because this is the new iPod mini. Today, Apple is going to reinvent the phone, an iPod, a phone, and an internet communicator, an iPod, a phone. Are you getting it? These are not three separate devices. This is one device. We are calling it iPhone. And the question has arisen lately, is there room for a third category of device in the middle? Something that's between a laptop and a smartphone. And of course, we've pondered this question for years as well. The bar is pretty high. In order to really create a new category of devices, those devices are going to have to be far better at doing some key tasks. And we call it the iPad. And what this device does is extraordinary. You can browse the web with it. It is the best browsing experience you've ever had. It's phenomenal to see a whole web page right in front of you and you can manipulate with your fingers. It's unbelievably great. Way better than a laptop. Way better than a smartphone. For 2010, we're going to take the biggest leap since the original iPhone. And so today, today we're introducing iPhone 4, the fourth generation iPhone. Stop me if you've already seen this. <laughs> Believe me, you ain't seen it. You've got to see this thing in person. It is one of the most beautiful designs you've ever seen. Hey, Johnny. I grew up here in the U.S. with the, with the Jetsons and, and with uh, Star Trek and communicators and just dreaming about this, you know, dreaming about video calling, and, and it's real now. Good morning. Thanks for coming.
we're going to introduce today iPad 2, the second generation iPad. It is an all new design. It is not a tweak design. It's not got marginal improvements. It's a completely new design. And the first thing is, it's dramatically faster. One of the most startling things about the iPad 2 is it is dramatically thinner. Not a little bit thinner, a third thinner. And that is iPad 2. As always, uh, I'd also like to thank everyone's families because they support us and let us do what we love to do. So thank you very much to our extended families out there who make it possible uh, for us to work our tails off making these great products for you.